negative. We're all positive on here. So no news, no sadness, nothing that might get us down. The whole thing was started for joy, for lightheartedness, for banter. So we don't discuss anything to do with serious stuff like that. So there we are. There's no medicine for being deaf. No, I don't think so, Geo Dog. Otherwise, we'd have had a spoonful. There we are. Were you in the RA? Well, we don't go into that. You'll have to make up your mind. I love your sense of humor. We certainly need more of it. Mark, how lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. I thank you. What accent does that mean? It's not an accent at all. It's just the way I speak. So there we have it. Because uh, remember, I've worked all over the country, or the countries. So there we are. Fantastic. No, the boss, it's about a negative subject. Do you see what I mean? It's about the pandemic. We don't want to lead on to any discussion of that because it's all in the mainstream media. So if you go on to a mainstream media program, you can discuss that to your heart's content. There you are. Fantastic. Scotty, most of your audience on here are too young to remember Perry Mason. Oh, absolutely. Well, possibly, yes. What about Ironside? No. Wouldn't remember Raymond Burr. Wonderful. Surely that's a positive. Um, well, no, no, you see, we don't we don't want anything to do with that at all. It's too serious. It'll start a big RJ Barge, uh, you know, from, from all that. Am I right, Scotty? Perry Mason was a radio series. Uh, well, Frank, I think originally it may have been, but Perry Mason was a massive, massive television series. It was about an American lawyer called Perry Mason. And the actor was called Raymond Burr. And then he played Ironside in a wheelchair latterly. Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, the boss. Good man. Uh, are you worried about China and Russia? Well, <clears throat> I'm more concerned about the fact we came out of U Europe. And that left us at the mercy of superpowers. Because when we were in Europe, we had clout. Now we have zero clout. So we're floating about like a fart on a windy day. That's the problem, I tell you. So I would rather we got back into Europe, and uh, I'm sure we'd get a good deal if we had uh, some good negotiators, you know. But you see, Brexit was really a fight in the Tory party. It had nothing to do with dragging four countries kicking and screaming out of the world's top trading block, you know. Uh, he speaks the Queen's English. That's it, Neil, absolutely. Would I be correct in assuming you're from England? You would be 100% wrong, but that doesn't mean I don't adore England. There we are. 